Alrighty, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and actually create the animation, and it's not really going to be much of an animation, but more of a, uh, a pose that plays. So, I'm going to go ahead and attach the flashlight to the hand again, just like before, and begin with the, uh, yeah, start working on the animation. It doesn't always come up. There we go. So let's go ahead and create a new action. Let's name it flash or a underscore flashlight held. Nailed the spelling. Okay. Uh, probably actually I'm going to make this like I don't know. Let's make this thirty frames long. And create our pose. So, since it's in third person, it doesn't really matter all that much as to the positioning of where the flashlight is in the hand. Well, not in the hand. Um, eh, what do you call it? Side. There we go. And it just occurred to me that I have it kind of flipped around a bit. So... Instead of reversing that, I'm instead going to just make it so it feels it kind of down at the hip instead. Just points right in front. It's a little tiny bit angled in. Okay, let's go ahead and I can't really move the elbow back. Yeah, something like that. Then, I don't care about this hand at all. Are you kind of neutral in the spine? Or not in the spine, uh, close to the side. Okay. And that's going to be our amazing pose. Now let's just rotate it up a tiny bit. That's pretty close to being straight out. So I'm going to go ahead and insert... Rotation, rotation, probably at frame 15, we'll just do a slight movement of it, so we're not completely standstill, and we come to frame 31, and paste the first frame again. Let's bump this up to like 60, make it just not quite as crappy, even though it's still going to be pretty crappy. I'm going to copy the first frame to frame 30. And there's that beauty. Man, that's terrible. All right, let's go ahead and export it then. A whopping 10 seconds. All right, start end keyframes. Uh, get a new folder. animations and export actually I want to bake the deforms there's our animation go ahead and bring it on in I'm put it with the rest of them like the skeleton and there we go so that's going to be our crappy flashlight animation. And in the next video, we're going to actually set this up inside of the animation blueprint. That way it plays everything like it needs to. So we're going to separate the upper and lower body. So that way we still have the legs moving and all that kind of stuff. But we have the upper torso playing the animation that we want. So we're going to have pretty much two different state machines. Anyhow, I will see you in the next video. And if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a custom team deathmatch, or sorry, a team deathmatch tutorial series using C++ and Unreal Engine that you can follow along with as well as a bunch of other features that are included. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord down below, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So, I'll see you in the next video.